coach from Puerto Rico, 220 pounds, Luis Ortiz. Well, first out in this gauntlet match, Luis Ortiz. That means that this guy is going to have to take on three competitors and win if he wants to walk out the CCW champion tonight. And that is one bad looking mother. Luis Ortiz is one interesting individual, to say the least. Luis Ortiz, I've seen him have some great battles with Jose Perez. Latin Fury indeed. Take a look at this guy. The deranged one, Ron Zombie. Tripping to Bruiser Brody there for a second. Hurricane John Walters is Bridgeport here at CCW Evolution. Well, it's no secret that Walters, well known all up and down the coast. Final member of this four-way matchup, Tony DeVito. saw Tony DeVito, I believe he was beating on Ron Zombie. It was Tony DeVito and uh, Homicide against Jose Perez and Ron Zombie last time we saw. Tony and Ron in CCW action. Fans letting DeVito know what they think of him. That's not very politically correct of them. I cannot wait to see the action that we're going to get and started with. Well, I mean, it looks like. Looks like there's, there you go, DeVito. DeVito wants a piece of Luis Ortiz, it would seem.
DeVito with some harsh words for Luis Ortiz there. To, there's the bell. Luis Ortiz warming up this crowd for with DeVito. His, with his chest, by the way. The psychological game obviously being won by Luis Ortiz. Latin Fury. Not, not shocking at all. With the crazy eyes and crazy makeup. Well, I'll tell you what, CCW has been absolutely thrilling tonight. Card packed with action. And here we are at the main event. Ron Zombie wanted into this matchup. Tony Davis said, eh, forget about it. It was a nice try. Again, Tony Vito cowering under the bottom row, under the top rope, hiding from Luis Ortiz. There's the lockup. Tony Vito with the advantage over Luis Ortiz. A little bit more weight going his way. And using it to his advantage very wisely against Luis Ortiz. Luis Ortiz, a big guy, kicks up to his feet there. Turns the armbar into a hammer lock. Rolls forward with DeVito. And begins to stretch DeVito out. Take a look at that contraption. DeVito wisely to the ropes. DeVito, a ring veteran. Very aware of where he is at all times in the ring. ECW One of my favorites. Biding his time as he gets back to the ring. The Ortiz is fired up. He wants him some of DeVito. DeVito just taking his time out here. Ortiz officially waiting with a cat to get his hands on Tony DeVito. Angry midget chance for Tony DeVito. DeVito does not like it. And they're both back in the ring now. We might get some actual wrestling. Boot to the gut there by DeVito. Gaining the edge over Luis Ortiz to kick things off here. A push into the corner. Wow, what a forceful chop by DeVito. <laughs> Just like it says, Wild. Fat, drunk, and pissed off. Reverse of the Irish whip there by Luis Ortiz. Luis Ortiz, what in the world? With the handstand followed by the inverted drop kick, will. Skill, precision, precision. It worked either way. Jaw jack. DeVito now tagging in Hurricane John Walters, who wastes no time applying the headlock. Side headlock there by John Walters. These two no strangers as well. Luis Ortiz and Hurricane John Walters have met up many different places, many different states with many different outcomes. And each time to me it seems like it gets better and better. These guys wrestle a fast, hard match. There is no half step and no pussy foot. And Luis Ortiz now shoves John Walters up, drops down and gets met with a shoulder tackle. Drops down again. John Walters choreographed it right back into that side headlock. John Walters is a wrestler, pure and simple. He will wrestle you out of your boots. She appears to be doing here to Luis Ortiz. He's got that side headlock locked in, grounding Luis Ortiz. Luis Ortiz now making his way back up to his feet. John Walters still has that headlock applied as the ref checks it out. Luis Ortiz went to drop Walters, who backflips up over his shoulder. Walters rolls through, and Luis Ortiz hangs on, gets met with a drag. Walters with a drop kick now. Another drag for Ortiz and locks in that arm bar. 
Like I said, wrestle. Wrestle is the name of the game. Wrestling is what we put on the marquee. Wrestling is what draws these fans here. And John Walters knows how to do nothing but wrestle. DeVito trying to get an NYC chant going, but we're in Connecticut. He's in CT. Not sure. We are on. We are in lovely Bridgeport here. Not too far. I didn't think John Walters was going to stay in the ring, and that one he almost flew right over the top rope. Right up to the heaters there. Big double team move by Ron Zombie and Luis Ortiz. The elevation by the big man. Ron A furry leg drop. Are those those new Uggs boots that are so in style? Uh, I don't know much about style, Wild. You're a little more hip than I am. This crowd, deafening chance of zombie. I thought I it would only assume they're referring to Ron. <laughs> awesome Whistler deduction. Looks more the part. Ron Zombie now tags the veto back in. Rather, John Hurricane John Walters tags the veto back in. Luis Ortiz breaks up what could have been a decision there. DeVito is not happy about it, taunting Luis Ortiz as DeVito, as Ron Zombie makes his way to his feet. DeVito takes a handful of hair and applies a right hand and a forehead of Zombie. Now on top of him, pounding away on his head there. And DeVito is hot about it. Boot to John Walters. I'm sorry, Ron Zombie meeting the boot of John Walters. Two count only there on that pit attempt by John Walters. Ron Zombie's got some life left in him. So Walters is set up for a suplex here. Bring Zombie right over. Indeed, Walters going right back for the pin after that suplex. Walters wants to win this match. Walters wants to walk out the CCW champion tonight. So most of them have been in, actually everybody but Walters have been in and out of the CCW ring. Walters has been here a few times. Walters in the running for a short while. If you remember when Dylan Cage won the title at the Knights of Columbus in Fairfield, it was John Walters who, who really got screwed in that match as Dylan Cage inserted himself onto the absence of the current champion. Sometimes you have to be in the right place at the right time. Dylan Cage usually is that guy. He is that guy, ain't he? I know a couple guys like that. Those guys. Well, Luis Ortiz aching to get into this matchup. He wants to see the action. DeVito seems pretty comfortable on that ring game. DeVito's happy where he is. As Ron Zombie applying elbows to the gut there. John Walters. Zombie hits the ropes. Walters sends him up and over. He's got a rear waist lock. Walter sucks underneath the top rope, and uh, Ron Zombie gets met with a close out of Tony DeVito there. Tony DeVito is absolutely no luck lost for Ron Zombie. DeVito running the ropes here, getting a full head of steam. <laughs> he really worked that one up. And they love it. Now a Rich chin lock applied by Tony DeVito on Ron Zombie. Ron Zombie is really getting the worst of this match. Oh, that's not right. I know, it hits close to home with you. Elbow again. A third. Zombie off the ropes. Corey across DeVito. It's all gotta be flipping. DeVito's over, one, two. DeVito kicks out of the sunset flip and meets Zombie with a big clothesline right there. I don't know if there's anything to do with his shape and stature, but DeVito seemed to roll right out of that move. <laughs> Zombie had a little bit more trouble. He's built like an oak tree. That could have had a lot to do with it. DeVito using the ropes for leverage to choke out Zombie. Tags in Hurricane John Walters now. I don't know any better, I'd say I was watching it. There's a double suplex from Walters. And DeVito on a zombie, two count only. Zombie somehow still having the faculties to kick out of that. DeVito just staying as far as he can away from Luis Ortiz. 
DeVito. Pin and Zombie here. Ref out of position. Two count only. I think De DeVito believes that that could have been a decision there. I'm sure DeVito had it his way. He'd get, he'd get the win on a one count. Some jabs there from DeVito. Wins it with a big drop kick. What a finish. Well, technically, Luis Ortiz didn't get in the ring. Walters inserting himself into this matchup, taking it from Ron Zombie. Love that tag. Zombie shot off the ropes by Walters. In forearm to the face there of Zombie. Now, was that a tag? Did that be considered a tag? What Walters needs to do, I think it was more of a taunt. Well, Walters is doing what he needs to do. Zombie needs to get Ortiz into this match. Or he is in some serious trouble. I have a feeling that this teamwork between Walters and DeVito is going to end as, sure, as soon as one of those two goes for a pin. Then you're going to see everybody's true colors. Well, I'll tell you, Ron Zombie is giving a phenomenal effort tonight here in Bridgeport. He is hungry for that title. He needs it. He wants it. And that DeVito is just choking out Zombie. Referee with the five count there. DeVito in the ring, Ron Zombie in the ring. Luis Ortiz really wants to get a piece of Tony. And Walter's just waiting. Zombie reverses the whip here. Face first goes DeVito. There's that neck breaker. Zombie. Just stretch out your arm, Ron. Both men down. Referee administering the obligatory 10 count. Wild Zombie has got to make the tag here. It's a veto tags Walters and Walters gets to Zombie before Zombie gets to Ortiz. Wait, there it is. There's a tag. Lewis is in. Ortiz. Throwing forearms at Walters. Walters like we're seeing him reversing up against the ropes. Oh, huge DDT by Ortiz. Walters amazing that he kicked out of that. Ortiz is fired up like no one else right now. Got him in the fireman's carry position. Walters slips down in the waist lock. Sends Ortiz back and it's a European uppercut to the back of the head there. Vicious move. Sends Ortiz into the corner. Here's the Irish whip reversal by Ortiz. Did you get a load of that? He kicked the leg out and sent Ortiz right out of that top turnbuckle. Ortiz came down and landed right on the noggin. Walters with the lung blower right there. And one for the back just for good measure. Walters with a barrage of offense. Zombie in. Breaking up the pin attempt there. Wait a minute! And Zombie's big DDT! And Zombie's finisher! Ref is telling him he's not the legal man, he can't win the title like that! Take a look at this now, DeVito! A lot of trash talk being thrown around between Zombie and DeVito. Ortiz kicking them both out. Ortiz is serious about winning this title. Ortiz and Walters are left alone in the ring now. As DeVito struggles to make his way to his feet on the apron. Here comes Ortiz. Big boot to the mush there. There was nothing technical about that. This is a straight up kick to the face. We can't go wrong with it. Ortiz now hops up to the second rope. A self-destructor there misses. Walters is in. Take a look. The glory driver. And here's DeVito. DeVito's going to do it. He steals the pinball on Walters. CCW heavyweight champion capitalizing on John Walters. Wait glory it. driver right there working together as a team. And all of a sudden, DeVito turns his back. DeVito's got the belt, but... 
referee's decision. Walters is mad. Walters is hot. Walters with the blind, didn't hear the blind tag. DeVito capitalizing on John Walters' mistake. Runs in, rolls him up, one, two, three, and DeVito is the new CCW champion. Well, like you said, a new CCW champ. Brown here in Bridgeport. DeVito's got the stick. Tavito's got spray paint. Oh, wait a minute. Tavito is not going to deface the title. Stop DeVito. He's getting ready to wait a minute. Wild. I hear some music. I think I know whose music that is, but that doesn't make any kind of sense. I didn't I didn't know he was booked tonight. Am I right or am I wrong? I don't even want to say it if I'm gonna be wrong. I was right! It's slick! It's slick! Slick is in Bridgeport! And these guys are being the hell out of each other! The ring is being rushed! Wild all hell is breaking loose! Championship. 
sick. We haven't even had 10 minutes of Tony DeVito being the CCW champion already. He's scheduled for his first rematch. That's what you call consistency. That's what you call professionalism. That's what you call a good product. Paul Roma kicking off a new era here in CCW, and he is not messing around. Mike McDasty, we've seen it all here tonight at Evolution, and we've only seen the beginning. Well, you said a mouthful when you said that, Wild. Ladies and gentlemen, from the bottom of our hearts, CCW.